That's right. Got me the garage door opener all installed. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're gonna be talking all things KLR 650. I'm gonna be installing a bike part today. I just need to find the bike part. I told my wife to bring it out here in the garage. Crisis has been averted. We got the bike part. We're gonna be installing the Tusk 10 millimeter extension shift lever <laughs> right here. It's like 20 bucks. Um, the problem that I have on this motorcycle is down here, the shift lever, it's super close to the peg. I'm a big guy and I wear a size 13 shoe. It's a little close. So I wanna extend it and we're gonna do that today. The only tools that you're gonna need are, had a bit of a scare, thought I lost it because of course it's a 10 millimeter, but a 10 millimeter open-ended wrench, you just need a wrench. That's really it. Some blue Loctite if you have it, just cause the KLR is known to be vibrating. So help the bolt stay in. And other than that, that's all you need. So this is a really easy install. Um, anyone that has a 10 millimeter wrench can do this job. It takes zero brains. It is super beginner. So if you're nervous about wrenching on your bike, don't worry about it. Anyway, right back there, there's a bolt. Um, my finger's pretty much touching it. Just get the 10 millimeter wrench on the bolt. And once it's on there, you just loosen her up. Do note that the bolt has to come completely out of the shift lever in order for the shift lever to come off the bike. At the beginning of the video, I lied when I said, you only need to have the 10 millimeter wrench. Um, the new one requires you to have an eight millimeter uh, wrench they do provide your, your own bolt. So yeah, you need a 10 and an 8 millimeter not just a 10 millimeter All right with Loctite on the bolt. I have it on there We'll just snug it down doesn't need to be overly tight and boom just like that We got ourselves a new shift lever now. I know what you're probably thinking seriously. That's the video No, that's not the video man. I got a uh, some Hillman accessories and it's a beautiful day out here in central Pennsylvania. So I'm gonna go test them out and I'm gonna go ride for a little bit. <clears throat> All right. So we are officially ready to hit the road here. What happened to my mirror? Oh geez. All right, we are off. <laughs> so first moto vlog ever. That's super cool. I'm excited. We are recording. All right, we're just gonna go cruise around. Get my first impression ever with this new lever. Here we go, first. Oh yeah, it's like right where it needs to be now. I can already tell this is a huge, huge improvement. Also, bear with me on my audio quality. I'm using, <laughs> I have a Lexan G16, the Bluetooth for the helmet. Um, that's what I'm using to record audio with as well, so bear with me if it's not the best. Yeah, I can already tell the placement of this lever is almost exactly where it needs to be for my big feet. So I'm super happy about that. And now we're just going to go cruise, cruise around town a little bit. I say around town, but I live in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> so around town is Honestly, just a bunch of country roads, a bunch of twisties. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any trails by me that are local that I could take the bike off-roading. I'd have to drive about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Oh no, it's a mirror. I gotta stop and tighten that. That's gonna drive me crazy, but... Yeah, so pretty much everything's on road uh, around my house. But that's okay. We're still out. We're riding. It's only a couple more days left of the season. It's been super cold here in Pennsylvania, but I'm lucky enough that right now it's <laughs> it's about 40 degrees. That's 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 warm for this time of year. <laughs> I remember the first time I hopped on the bike and I took it down the street. It was like four miles. But I, I <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I sat down on the motorcycle and instantly went to go put on my seatbelt. Uh, hello, Steven, you're on a motorcycle. There's no seatbelts on the motorcycle. You, you dumb dumb. I've learned that cars are always out to get you. I always got to be driving defensively, because uh, they'll just pull out in front of you. 
And it's like, what the hell, man? I'm, like, riding here, and you're gonna, gonna pull out in front of me. Like, what's wrong with you? Why would you... I don't know. Whatever. Just little nuances. Little things I'm starting to learn. <laughs> you enjoy your hunting, man. I know what you're doing. Check out this view up here, man. Oh, baby. It is just... Next level. Just pretty. Oh, it smells like cow. There's so many cow farms and cornfields out here. You'll just be driving and get whiffs of cow. Just cow poop. It's so disgusting. <laughs> but it makes you realize, you know, look at look at that. That is just that is just beauty, man. I I miss living in New Jersey, being close to family and friends, but being out here in central Pennsylvania, man, it's it's totally different. The scenery, it's not flat. It's hills everywhere, there's green, there's mountains. <laughs> mountains, right? Nothing too crazy, but yeah, it is absolutely stunning. But I don't think we'll be here much longer. A couple more years, I think we're going to be heading down south, southwest. Maybe down to like Texas or something. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll end up back in Jersey. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anything, anything's possible, right? But I figured while I'm out here on the road, I'm riding the bike, getting some seat time in, um, I figured I'd explain to you guys why, out of almost the blue, um, why I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy a motorcycle. It's time. You know, my whole life I've always been interested in motorcycles, and I've always went against buying one and getting into them because I know how I am on cars, and... I'm a little reckless. I'm going to be honest with you. I like going fast. I, uh, I'm a motorsport head. I'm a, I'm a fanatic. I'm a freak on motorsports. Um, so I've always stayed clear of getting a motorcycle only because I figured if I get a motorcycle, I know what I'm going to want to do. I'm going to want to go fast. I'm, I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to want to be popping wheelies and all this other stuff. And uh, I, just, I just never went ahead and, and bought a motorcycle. You know, I've ridden uh, motocross for a couple, I would say a couple times, right? Like, that's my really only experience on a motorcycle is motocross. And uh, when I went to Jersey a few weeks ago, believe it or not, I was hanging out with the homie uh, at his house. His brother has a Vespa out of all the things. And I was like, hey, can I, can I take that around the block? So I hopped on this Vespa and I took it for a spin. And I came back and I just, obviously ear to ear smiles and I was like okay I've just decided right that moment I'm buying a motorcycle I came home within a week of coming home I had my motor oh something just happened on the rear of my bike it is not did not feel right almost like my tire just popped or something. <sighs> yep. Son of a... Well? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> oh man. Son of a Well that's not good. Bummer. You know what's really bad about this? I don't think I have cell service. No, of course. of course. No cell service. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> I saved it. I didn't go down. Um, I'm home 
from my bike incident. I know that was really just like kind of cut short, but I um I didn't want to film. I was I was so just grateful that I didn't drop the bike today. I was going around that turn that you guys saw in the video. Um yeah, the back end kicked out something. I don't know how I saved it, kicked out again. Video doesn't show justice, but to me that was super scary because I'm, I'm still relatively new at riding any mo kind of two-wheeled motorcycle. Um, it was scary. <laughs> probably um, nothing crazy. Probably a lot of bike riders know what that feeling is, but for me it was scary. And I'm, I'm just, I don't know, it got me thinking. You know, I, I ended up putting the bike home. Probably not the smartest idea, but... Um, it was cheaper for me to putz the bike home, potentially risk ruining the tire and the wheel um, than it was to call a tow truck driver out in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. So I opted for that. Wheel looks fine. I'm just going to get a new tube and probably new tires. Um, point in case, I'm super grateful that I didn't drop the bike and got really injured. I'm here. I'm breathing. I'm home with the family. Um, scary moments, man. Scary moments. Proud to announce the shifter works fantastic. No need to uh, be concerned if you guys want the extended shifter. <laughs> oh, man. I'm happy to be home. I'm going to eat some dinner. I got some pizza and garlic bread. Um, I literally brought it down here to show you. and I'm going to bring it back upstairs and eat with the family. But just take this away. Life's short. You never know when life can end. I don't think I would have died if I crashed. I would have just got back up, whatever. But you never know what can happen at any point everything was going well super smooth next thing you know i am clenching my ass cheeks because i'm frightened for my life like it's scary when that stuff happens so you never know treat everyone with respect never let a moment slip by enjoy life to the fullest i'll see you in the next one guys peace